What's bigger, 300 factorial or 100 raised to the 300 power? A number of you were able to answer this correctly yesterday in the poll, but let me prove to you why 300 factorial is bigger. Okay, well, let's take 300 factorial and we're gonna break it up into parts. So the first part is gonna be 300 times 299 all the way down to 201. Okay, and this product is greater than, well, we're gonna go pairwise starting on the outsides. So 300 times 201 is approximately 60,000. Okay, and we're gonna do this for each pair. So this is less than 60,000 to the 50th power, which is equal to 2 to the 50 times 3 to the 50 times 100 to the 100. Okay, we're gonna try to get a factor of 100 to the 300 power, and then some other terms left over. Okay, let's go with the next 100. So 200 times 199 all the way down to 101. Well, that's greater than 20,000. By the same argument, 20,000 to the 50 power. All right, by the same argument, we do 200 times 101, 199 times 102, and each of these terms is greater than 20,000, and there's 50 pairs that we're gonna to multiply together. But that's equal to 2 to the 50 times 100 to the 100. Okay, so we have 200 copies of 100 already. We gotta get 300 of them though. Okay, what's next? This process is eventually gonna run out. So we're gonna have to be a little bit more creative here. Let's go 100 to 51. Okay, with the same idea, we're gonna take the outside pairs all the way through. So this is greater than 5,000 to the 25 power. Right? And that's equal to 5 to the 25 times 10 to the 25 times 100 to the 25. Which let's pull out, let's break this into fives and twos. So it's in its prime factorization, which is 5 to the 50 times 2 to the 25 times 100 to the 25. Okay, so we have another 25 copies of 100. We're making progress. All right, now let's go from 50 down to 21. Okay, 21 times 50 is about 1,000. So this is greater than 1,000, and there's going to be 15 pairs to the 15 power. Okay, and so what is this factorization? This is 5 to the 15 times 2 to the 15 times 100 to the 15th. Okay, now let's go from 20 to 11, and then we're gonna have to do a little bit of calculation. So 20 all the way down to 11 is greater than 2,000, sorry, 200 to the fifth, which is equal to uh, 2 to the 5th times 100 to the 5th. And then the last thing, and you could just type this into a calculator, 10 factorial is greater than uh, 3 times 10 to the 6th. Okay, so this is small enough you could just type it into a calculator. Okay, so let's put this all together. We have that 300 factorial is greater than, let's combine terms. How many twos do we have? We have 50, 100, 125, 140, 145. So two to the 145 times three to the one, 51, so 51, 
times five to the 50 plus 15 is 65 times 100 to the what? 100, 200, 225, 240, 245, 248, right? This is three more, so 248. Okay, so we're getting there. Let's combine some of these twos and these fives. Let's take uh, 64 fives and 64 twos. That's gonna give us another factor of 100 to the 32 power. Okay, so that's going to be two to the 81 times three to the 51 times five times 100 to the 280. Right? And now, ideally we could get, we want to show that this term is greater than 100 to the 20th power. And so one thing to note is that two times three is greater than five. Okay, so we could take out, let's take out 39 factors of two and three. And that's gonna give us some fives. So this is greater than taking out 39 factors of two and three, that's two to the 42 times three to the 12 times five to the 40 times 100 to the 280. And two to the 40 times five to the 40 is 100 to the 200th power. So this is equal to two squared times 312 times 100 to the 300 power. And this is clearly greater than 100 to the 300. Okay, so there's the proof that 300 factorial is greater than 100 to the 300. Tomorrow, I'll show you how to prove this in under one minute. So keep your eyes open for that. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.